They got gas tanks up on top, two kayaks. Really nice couple. Talked to them. They were camping a couple weeks ago. Back at fam camp. So it's Thursday, May 20th. Back at fam camp. Uh, had a lot of fun. This is our second night here. But I'm really excited about the little goal zero. I actually have two of them. I'm going to have enough power for computers, tablets, and cell phones, even extended trips all summer long because I found out I can charge in, in the bed while driving. So I could keep one charging and keep one powering devices. Uh, it's just kind of fun just getting all this stuff dialed in. But it's a little bittersweet being here because I literally have a one week, one week and one day of base access left. So. In one week, I'm gonna give up my CAC card and I will not be able to access uh, military installation and stay at this pristine campground right on the edge of town. So I'm gonna to be driving farther out, spending more in gas money until I get into a place, which is probably not for a couple more weeks. So yeah, it was nice to take a little break. We house sat for about 10 days, and but now we're back to camping and I'm just, getting getting back dialed in organized with all my stuff but it's uh, just like riding a bike it's easy to do but this week is going to be about fly fishing i feel like an idiot because come to find that river pristine river i camped at two weeks ago with with when i was right on the river with the ladder just barely on the edge had grayling in it and i didn't think to bring a fly rod all my stuff is in storage and my fly rods are getting ratty. So tomorrow I'm going to go to Mossy's Fly Shop. It used to be McAfee's. I miss old McAfee. He had a cool local fly shop here. I did call Mountain View Sports because I like to support local business. It is? Oh, wow, that plane is flying low. Pretty cool watching the, uh, right by the airfield, watching all the uh, military jets go by. Anyways, uh, Mountain View Sports didn't have the Reddington packable setup that I lost. I had one. Uh, they've got one in eight weight, but I really need a five, six weight. Uh, they didn't have one in stock, but Mossy's doesn't have any Reddington's that size in stock either, but they're gonna mix and match. And I'm gonna get a little four piece takedown with the case where you can keep the rod on. And it's just so convenient. This was, this was my first time really fishing it from a boat down there, so it kind of opened up. happier um, 
I can't even remember when the last time I caught a rainbow was. Um, last summer I was so busy, I didn't get to fly fish a lot until the end of the season when I went for steelhead, but uh, I'm gonna be less busy this year. I'm gonna make a effort to fly fish like this. That's beautiful little, I it was teeny little 14 inch fat little rainbow trout, but uh, that was super fun to catch. I'm very excited. Not gonna tell anybody where this place is. Bizzo would kill me. And I don't want it to get blown out either, but this is a good early, early run fishery for there's people fishing kings here but the weird thing is uh oh, there was hundreds and thousands of little hooligans swimming by and long windy road and i were going to dip net for hooligan two weeks ago so i texted him i told him to bring a dip net out for hooligan if he comes out tomorrow i don't know if he's going to make it but it'd be cool to get like a little bucket of hooligan but i'm really excited this was uh an amazing day and um I'm just going to be a trout bum all weekend and tomorrow I should get into some bows because it was, we were already losing light when I started fishing. Um, I don't think I had the right line on, but I'm just going to mess around with my gear and hose some bows as we call it. I'm going to catch some rainbows tomorrow all day and just be a trout bum. That's all I want to do. Yeah, it's raining. Yeah, the river's probably blown out. It was raining super hard when I got up at 8 this morning. Uh, it's just trickling, but it's been uh, several hours of rain, I'm sure. But um, I'm going to check out the river, see if it's blown out. I might fish some more, but it's probably getting blown out. So Long Randy Road's going to come up and Ed Drone, and we're going to go to Kings River. Or it's not raining. Long Windy Road was a pilot, so he checks windy.com constantly checks the weather so it's dry there and i can fish for grayling there so got a little bit of chicken tiki masala yes please all right there they are slung windy road and uh Smith drones. Oh man, the river looks clear. Let's see if there's any fish in it. Ah, wow, that's amazing that he got his. <laughs> it's amazing that he's got his camper here. Yeah, long windy's getting his phone out. That's gonna be us in a little while. Look at that lift. He could just float with that thing. Now if I get stuck, he can pull me out. <coughs> Is that? Bacon cheddar beef patties. It's time. Run the, run the river there. 
you have there. All right. What's there? Wet bathroom? Yeah. Don't turn the place for you. There's a light in there, but... Wow. Boy, that is roomy. Yeah. So I got myself a... What is it? A 10-pound tank. Mm -hmm. Hooked up to this little buddy heater. Nice. And it's got like 20 hours. The furnace went out and I still haven't got it fixed. Okay. There's and then you got that new electric thing that can run a CPAP. Yeah. Machine for. This can run a CPAP machine for about two days. And that was really affordable. Yeah, it's not bad. 400 bucks for that compared to comparable ones, they charge like a thousand or two thousand for something like that. Yeah, it's got fold up uh, solar panels that I could actually hook up to my uh, camper here and just charge my battery on the camper if I wanted to. Oh man, this is a nice setup. <laughs> we called it a night and then as soon as we started packing up to go into our camping locations uh, it started raining and it looks like it's gonna rain pretty good I don't think the river is gonna raise and sweep me away if it does raise it wouldn't be by much and I'm fine but I do kind of think about it what if it makes the ladder float and I lose stability in my platform here but that's not gonna happen I'm gonna be super comfortable. I've actually been sleeping better in uh, this tent than when I was house sitting because it's summer now in Alaska, it stays light out almost all night. And no matter what kind of curtains you get, the light bleeds out behind the curtains and just illuminates the whole room. This thing actually stays really dark. So I'm gonna close all these windows and it actually stays extremely dark in here and I'm able to sleep really good and it comes with a two inch memory foam mattress and I've added some extra foam and we got all these blankets I'm just so comfortable I I couldn't be happier I really don't want to go home tomorrow and go back to work um, it's just this is the most amazing spot I've found so far and I can literally dangle my feet out and go fishing on this river didn't catch any grayling but at least I was fishing and I didn't get skunked on the trip. I got a rainbow yesterday, so I'm happy about that. So I'm gonna make a nice camp breakfast in the morning. Hopefully it won't be raining in the morning and pack up and hit the road, see what happens. But a uh, very unique spot. I am blown away by this spot. You can see the rain coming down there. over the river, along Randy Road and the camp there. 
just amazing incredible spot so all right we'll see what tomorrow brings there's still rain on the top there oh man sunshine we got we got sunshine We got sunshine. What a day. Oh, ah. Got water on my socks there. Wow. What a day. It's going to be a good day. Whoa, just got out here. There's another eye camper. <laughs> white SUV with a white eye camper cruising out <laughs> you're copying me that is awesome though I love it all right time to make some breakfast blue sky so I'm going to wipe down this ladder because I think getting junk and this part is what is messed up my ladder, especially in the winter. So wipe this down. I'm going to close up. Don't want to leave though. Sunday, May 23rd, just leaving the area. Had such an awesome time camping with Long Windy Road and Ed Smith drones. Ed got some sweet uh, drone footage. He's gonna let me use of uh, me sitting in the tent like Huckleberry Finn, <laughs> fly fishing out, out the door. That That is the coolest thing I've ever experienced. I just wanna do that every trip now it's going to be hard to top that but uh, a sweet new spot uh, I saw a couple from Louisiana that were on their honeymoon and they had a SUV with a Yakima roof tent on top and talked to them for a while they went out there and, and then they just cruised around and left they've been camping all over the state I just keep seeing more and more overland vehicles up here in Alaska every summer and now it's just increased and it it just makes my heart happy to see it um, it's kind of weird though because up here uh, you pass somebody in a Tacoma with a rooftop tent like hey an overlander and wave at them they just ignore you like you're some kind of freak or something I wish there was more of a community there is some groups and stuff where people are a lot nicer but that's uh, really too bad I guess it's really common now but Anyways, uh, back to work, and I'm super excited because this is the last week I'm going to have to work these crazy double shifts. The last week I'm going to have two full-time jobs, so the first few days I'm getting like three hours of sleep, and that's going to be no more. I'm going to be getting my full eight, ten hours of sleep if I want after this week, so I'm super excited about that. I'm going to have more time to do some fishing and explore. I'd like to make it down to Homer catch some kings next weekend i might just catch kings in downtown anchorage though we'll see got a buddy that's gonna let me tag along but summer's just beginning we got memorial day weekend coming up we don't know where that's going to take us that's usually the big camping weekend for everybody so the roads are going to be crowded campgrounds are going to be full we've just had record numbers of campers and the campgrounds are just blown out right now but got to enjoy it while you can so thanks for coming along and i'll see you again probably in another week for the next alaskan overlander episode thanks guys